Magnum block here. Um, Jim, what is the major differences between this and the R25? All right. Uh, the block, it still uses our Stage 3 closed deck uh, sonar support system. Okay. And now we step up to a 14 millimeter diameter head stud. Okay. Which can take, you know, is obviously sort to, you know, a higher spec and provides more clamping, you know, pressure, you know, on the head gasket. Okay. Um, you know, which equals, you know, less chance of lifting a head. Uh, biggest thing is uh, no, now we lifting a head. You're actually talking about the head separating. It tries to push it apart and separate the head from the block. Okay. Wow. And that's where we're trying to use all different gasket systems to okay. help with the seal. It's going to move to some extent. So with more, you know, power and combustion pressure, it wants to move more. So we need to step up in, you know, head stud and clamping to resist that. Okay. Uh, no, it's notable difference is we step up to the our what we call our fire lock. Uh, head gasket system, okay. uh, which consists of, we have counter bores in the block and we manufacture these stainless steel fire rings that are set into the groove so they have support on the outside as far as outward combustion pressure rather than it being sent to the edge of the head gasket. You know, so we have you know, fire ring that basically provides all the combustion sealing and then the head gasket is used for sealing as far as water and oil. So it does not see any direct compression. Okay. So versus when we use the JE head gaskets, they're seeing. Right. There's there's nothing you know preventing them from being exposed on their edges to you know into the combustion chamber and the cylinder bore. So they see you know all of that you know combustion heat. Okay. And pressure. Whereas you know this gasket doesn't see any of that. All of that is absorbed by this ring. Gotcha. Um, now, what is the difference in the gasket that we're using versus the gaskets that we use in our other stage blocks up to this? The other gasket we just showed you are a multi-layer steel uh, head gasket that you know has been embossed with you know what we call a fire ring around the cylinders as well as some other areas for sealing water and oil passage. And they're multi-layer anywhere from you know three to five layers depending upon brand of gasket. Okay. Um, you know it's a perfectly fine sealing system. We start moving up in okay. power, then we, need to we have them. to upgrade that. Okay. And this is the next step in that process. Gotcha. Any upgrade in the rods? Yeah, with our Madden rod, it's the same style H beam, except in 625 uh, plus ARP rod bolts, but we run a two millimeter longer rod. Okay. You know, improves the rod ratio with the motor. Uh, you know, as far as RPM and, you know, changes in piston speed and load on the piston. And which also means we have a different piston as far as the, uh, the pit, wrist pin has been raised up in the piston closer to the oil ring. Okay. So that's one question I have had is when you say a, a plus two rod, I'm thinking the rod's longer, it's going to protrude the piston out longer, but they have moved, now you said the, the wrist pin hole up. That's Compens correct. To compensate right. for that. Correct. The wrist pin hole is moved up a corresponding amount closer to the dome of the piston. Gotcha. Okay. So like the you know if the piston's a top dead center, it stays there. So they move that hole up and then put a longer rod in. Gotcha. Okay. That's the one position thing only... of the piston in the cylinder hasn't changed any. Okay. That's one thing I always thought when you guys say we're running plus two rods in this one, I'm thinking, well, aren't they going to protrude out of the deck? So do we have to modify the head or right? Thicker gas. They're modifying it on the on the piston there. Right. Then. Okay. Correct. It's um, corresponding change. And same wrist pin as the Same Georgia? wrist pin, that's correct. Still okay. the 210, 9310 steel pin. Okay. Now I see that we're rating this block to 900 brake horsepower, which yeah. is calculated pretty much out to around 700 to 720-ish wheel horsepower. Right. Who would we say this block is suited for? This is for a serious track day guy who still has a streetable car. Okay. Uh, you know, it's well suited for... Uh, like your, your time attack, track day, you certainly drag race with it, street race okay. with it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's still streetable. Okay. 